What about the pyramids of Giza? <laughs> right. Highly evolved alien life forms land in ancient Egypt. And in order to help advance humankind, they do what? Help them harness the power of electricity? Do they help them build computers? No. They use their vast reservoir of knowledge to help them lift big blocks of rock. That weigh like 10 tons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this place is the shit. Do you use this often? Not so much. Charlie gave it to me for one of my birthdays, and then he immediately commandeered it to keep tabs on the neighborhood. Oh, the infinite blackness of space. Well, you might want to take off the lens cap, honey. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. So much better. Mm -hmm. So what's he do, your ex? Oh, he's a divorce attorney. Or as they say in the biz, uh, lawyering with benefits. Huh, must have saved on legal fees. Mm, I felt I should hire someone for whom it wouldn't be an egregious conflict of interest. I forget, what's egregious? It's like having your cake and eating it too. In front of a diabetic. Or in this case, your wife's best friend. Oh, saved by the bell. Howdy! Y'all order some Thai? Some what? Oh, that mother... That's the third time this week he got the wrong address. Hey, don't get me wrong, I love him like a first cousin. If he's female. It redneck humor. So you saying that y'all ain't ordered no takeout for Mr. Cyan? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, of course we did. I'm sorry. <laughs> as long as it's not spicy. Hey. Hi. A nice place you got here. What's a lean-to like this go for? Well, more than my ex-husband ever dreamed possible. Yeah, I'm gonna need to see your credit card. I gave them the number on the phone. I'm not gonna steal your identity. I just need to make an imprint from a receipt. But how do I know they got the order right? Do we have a trust issue going on here? She trusts me, and we only just met today. And I even told her I saw a UFO. Oh, I saw me a UFO once flying all crazy ass in the sky. Shot it. Ended up being a rogue egret with a arthritic wing. I'll tell you what. How about I tell you what's in the bag and then you could give me the card. Okay. Okay. So we got oh, Jesus Christ. Uh what's that look like to you? Uh pad tie with shrimp. Pad tie. Yeah, it smells about right. But not spicy. And a prick king. Mm -hmm. It's a lot better than it sounds. And a spicy red curry. Oh God, spicy? If I may. Spicy red curry with green beans and ground peanuts fixed, not spicy. Whatever the hell sense that makes. Mm, okay. You know, <clears throat> you people are destroying a culture just so as you know. I mean, with all this non-spicy BS. Don't make no sense to me. It's more like an act of cowardice than anything else. Oh, and steamed rice, not sticky. No, oh, authentic Thai cuisine is dead. Not that most folks would give a Siamese rat's patoot. <clears throat> uh, just so as you know, gratuity, already figured in. <laughs> patoot. <laughs> so, tell me about this plumbing expertise of yours. It's just part of my skill set. My dad was a plumber before he died. Before his time. Oh, I'm sorry. Though, I guess when 500 pounds of copper pipe falls on you, it's your time whether it is or it isn't. <laughs> That's a lot of pipe. My mom said it was God's will. Since if it had been PVC and not copper, he probably would have lived. So, um, what is it you want to do job-wise? Well, I'm pretty easy. You know, something stimulating, but not too demanding that pays really well. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question? Oh, let me brace myself. You were so nice and everything. Why did your husband want to go out on you? Ugh. It's complicated. He had a penis, she says. 
shoving a big wad of prick king into her mouth. See, to me, a penis is just a penis. Me too. Um, saying it's complicated just sounds better. There are mitigating circumstances. Charlie accused me of putting up walls. Emotional walls? Yeah. <laughs> Not sheetrock. See, my boyfriend in Omaha used to do that. Like, sometimes after a blowjob, he'd accuse me of being moody or distant. But most of the time, it was just a stiff neck. <laughs> <clears throat> As if men don't put up walls, huh? Yeah, but with them, it's sort of a given. True. Well, men come with a lot of givens. Hate asking for directions. Yes. Always leave their pube hairs on the soap bar. We're the ones who always end up feeling bad about ourselves. Yeah, my mom feels guilty because she's afraid of the rapture. <gasps> Hates to fly. Well, at least the rapture doesn't require the use of full body scans. No, they just look into your soul. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen E.T., right? Of course. They're coming out with a new director's cut. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I thought it was Spielberg. I thought all of his movies were the director's cut. <laughs> we should go see it. Why? I think it'll help you. To do what? To recapture your childlike sense of wonderment. So with losing 20 pounds. Oh, come on, you are so not fat. And your boobage is amazing. Well, you're very sweet. And probably in need of corrective lenses. Oh God, you have got to stop being so negative about your appearance, lest you force me to punish you. Oh, what are you going to do? Move in? <laughs> I just might. In the meantime, you've got to look at this. Why? What, what is it? You tell me. Whoa. What is that? <laughs>